Number five. I'm riding a horse. I'm riding a horse. I'm riding a horse. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm riding a horse. I'm riding a horse. I'm riding a horse. Jesus fucking Christ. That is a literal translation of this next song from the Czech Republic. And this is the voice which it is sung in. Jedu na koni, Ježiš Maria. Jedu na koni, Jedu na koni, Ježiš Maria. There are no other lyrics whatsoever. The second third of the song is some beat, which is admittedly okay. Then you have the third portion, which is literally nothing else but the sounds of some random farm animals. Need I say more? Thought so. Number four. I like Filthy Frank. He produces cancerous content, but he knows it, and he's proud of it, as well as the fact that it's usually hilarious to watch. I often feel that his content is bordering on satire a lot of the time. Maybe that is what Meme Machine is. I eat the memes, I shit the memes, without memes I will die. I mean, whatever the case, it, it's still a horrible, terrible excuse for music. It also happens to be one of the songs that invokes people's deep curiosity into human psychology. It tells a story of an unknown entity who is relying on memes, of all things, for his survival and sustenance, as he will die without them. Why has God abandoned us? All of this while two people in full body pink and red jumpsuits make what seems to be Shriracha Shrimp. Although if you watch the full video from which the song is embedded, it was actually put in the toilet before cooking and consumption. Uh, back to the song, it's definitely not the most offensive or worst sounding song on this list, but just for the fact that it is, that it is literally entirely about the concept of memes, and that you have a discount Power Ranger and his pal having seizures in their face and body, juggling and whatever this is, it's just the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of things that cannot and should not be explained. On top of that, you have a random woman with dwarfism at some point, you know, just chilling and dancing. And the voice literally sounds like someone with severe autism. I kid you not, it has that lack of natural tone of inflection, and it and so it is exaggerated in other ways to make up for that. And I know that the effect was intentional, but it still sounds like as if a mental disorder were a song, and there's nothing that can change that. But keep in mind, this song does come from a universe where chromosomes are used for interdimensional travel, so in the grand scheme of things, it could be considered rather normal. Who knows? Number three. What is it with the trend of Czech people making atrocious English songs and getting millions of views? Oh, and you thought Nikki Tuchkova was bad. Of course, as I understand it, everyone knows about this kid. Misha, his name is, not Mishovi, get it right, and the god-awful songs that he has put out. His Song for Haters is by far the worst of the lot. It starts with this 10-year-old kid giving out tons of money to people. Keep in mind, this 10-year-old has made thousands of dollars off other similarly shitty music videos and is all high and mighty about it now. And then he goes and sees this other 10-year-old kid dating a girl like twice his age. Then what does he do? He goes and buys the girl with all of his cash. Like a prostitute. Then he just goes and, oh what? All his money is gone, and he's picked up two more friends with benefits. Then they just go strutting around, and Misha does more of his trademark seizure-inducing dance moves. But that's just a music video. The lyrics are even more cringeworthy and outrageous. Just listen to some of these soundbites I've chosen for you, and tell me he doesn't sound like the most pointlessly entitled and bratty kid that you have ever seen. You tried to bully me, but no! I make more money than your mother! Better than Fossey Tube, Filthy Frank will be replaced. I am the best YouTuber, I am the best yo! I'm getting all the money, and getting all the hoes! Yes, and this video is meant to be for kids, as seen in the title. You're telling kids that you are getting all the money and all the hoes. Do you even know what a hoe is, Misha? I mean, people have theorized that Misha is just some tool used by his parents and musician older brother to absorb as much hate as possible so he can get world famous and get them attention and revenue. But you know what? I personally think that this kid actually believes what he is saying. Just look at him. He's become self-inflated with all of his success. Before he hit it big with I play Pokemon Go every day, he just made fun family-friendly songs about Minecraft and Hearthstone and League of Legends. Cringeworthy, I'm sure, but at least it was just innocent fun. Now he's gained attention, and his attempts to silence and put down his haters just make me sick to my stomach. But that's just because I'm laughing so hard that my diaphragm has burst my stomach lining, and I'm getting an acid reflux. This song sounds like shit. It's the most retarded premise from the most retarded person. 
but yet I cannot wait to see what he will come out with next. Number two. What's that? What do you mean there's a next level of cringeworthiness behind Misovi Silanovsky? No. No. No! That's right. A group of people, banded together, put time and effort into producing a video, and they come up with All the Single Furries. A parody of All the Single Ladies by Beyonce. Of course, all of, so many of these songs are from terrible pop songs in the first place. Okay, so why is this even allowed to happen? Why is it not illegal? You have three grown men, it seems, dressing up like dogs, right? Then they put leashes around their necks and dance to some pop song and change the lyrics to all be dog themed. What? Seen on my fur, and I want to mur, showing what my wagon means. You're acting up, now you want this pup, but I think you had your chance. I need no permission, but did I mention I don't pay you any attention? Cause you had your turn, and now you're gonna learn that you'll never get to wag with me. So you have these three things, and of course they have auto-tune, what modern music sensation wouldn't have it. One of them is also wearing sunglasses for some reason. Then they just change everything from ladies to furries, and they talk about how if you like it, then you should have put a leash on it. Get it? Because they're pretending to be dogs. <laughs> now, uh, they are trying to dance as if they were dogs, but they just look like they're playing peekaboo or something. Well, I think that there's a reason that you are all single, guys. Supply and demand, you know what I'm saying? The demand for you people would probably be too small to even compute. Cause if you like it, then you should have put a leash on it. If you like it, then you should have put a leash on it. Don't be mad once you see that they want it. Cause if you like it, then you should have put a leash on it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's kind of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Beatbox or Eye of the Spider in, in that it's someone ta taking something that makes them happy but then failing to transfer it very well to an actual project or song. But with this, I will argue that this passion is just mind-bogglingly idiotic. It's just so inane that I have actually lost faith in humanity. I would rather have humanity run by members of Al-Qaeda than by these people. Is there an actual normal person still trapped in that suit who will break out eventually? For the time being, this channel has been dead for two years and so we may not expect any updates anytime soon. Maybe they've realized that dogs actually don't use computers and have since migrated to the nearest pound. Now, all things being unprejudiced, in terms of how pointless, vapid, moronic, infantile, unimaginative, and just mentally insulting I find this song, it is unprecedented with any video I can safely say to be on this site right now. But, you ask, it is only at number two? Why, my friend, yes it is. For I have dug up a long-forgotten relic of YouTube's history that has been suppressed and gradually vanished from people's memories. And it takes a special brand of ridicule, offensiveness, and incompetence to top this list and make people hearing it wish that they could reset their minds to the nearest restore point like a Windows computer. In fact, after witnessing this next song, I wouldn't blame you in the slightest if you were to go and watch all of the above songs again in order to just try and wash off what you have just heard. <laughs> 